again today. Uh, it's Tuesday. I've left the girl uh, to wander through the uh, markets here while I run off onto Bangkok. So uh, the good news is the fact that we've just moved uh, Bangkok into what they call the um, the orange zone. So restaurants are now open. Restaurants are now open to serve alcohol and all that paraphernalia, which is pretty good. Um, so we're off today to, to um, the uh, Margarita Storm uh, to meet up with Niall, uh, you know, Niall Thailand, you know, the guy, the Irishman. Uh, I don't know who else is turning up. I've got three or four other people coming as well. Um, so it's a sort of a boys' night out, but a boys' night out was, you know, fairly subdued because as far as I know, the um, it's only restaurants that can serve alcohol. I think bars specifically still are closed. Uh, I haven't got the latest information today. This is only announced yesterday, so it's one of those little challenging things. Anyway, this is just part of the street down from the big sea there at the Pekisim. Uh, lots of street food. If you're ever over in Thailand, you've got, to, you've got to try this street food. It's absolutely great. Because I've got to stop talking to some of the master when people are slipping down. Oh my god. They just don't make these things with people with big, big mouths and big noses. Oh well, such is life. Anyway, we're going to get across this road here. Thankfully, we've got these nice little uh, uh, walkways to get you from one side to the other without having to play uh, Frogger on, on the main roads. Because that can get quite, quite hairy. Yes, this is peak hour. Coming out of uh, Bangkok Central along Pekasem Road. It's a bit crazy. Looking westbound, it's probably just as crazy going into Bangkok as well. I'm not going to try to get a taxi, so it's all good. One thing that always seems to come up in a lot of blog posts and all that sort of stuff about Thailand is these massive wires. And they say, how safe is this? Well, uh, actually it's quite safe. The, the power feed is above us. But all this stuff behind us there, in the, that's all, um, what do you call it, uh, comms cables, like uh, a coax cable for uh, uh, cable TV, cable internet. Uh, a lot of the stuff now moved to fiber, which is over the ground. The trouble is you've got four or five different companies on it. Once it goes in, it never comes out. That's part of the, the charms, I suppose, of Thailand, um, dealing with the sort of stuff that, you know, who's responsible? Nobody wants to, like, the copper itself is worth a fortune. But, but uh, which company owns what bit of copper? It is going to be like, it's actually worth more, or costs more, to pull it down and separate the cable than anybody else. Uh, so, it just never gets done. You know, there's a wait here for a taxi. Shouldn't be long. It looks like there's one coming now, so a hundred yards away. We'll just get flagged him down and we'll just jump in it. So people look at quite often ask, how do I manage to get myself uh, out of out of staying at home and into Bangkok? Because you know what the Thai girls are like. Uh, they, uh, they simply don't like you going and hanging out with your Phadang friends because all the Phadang friends are bad. <laughs> well, today it cost me 200 baht for a pair of shoes. Uh, she was happy, so it's all good. I'm out of the house and we're on our way into the BTS and then off to, off to the, off to the uh, restaurant. Uh, but I said it's a margarita storm, so we're going to eat some decent Mexican food for change uh, and uh, maybe a margarita or two. Hopefully they'll serve them. <laughs> we just really don't know. It's one of those potluck things right now. So one of the things that always surprises me here with the BTS and the MRT is basically how clean this thing here is. And they also, one of the things that always strikes me as well is these little monitors that tell you where you are and, you know, advertising and everything else. Very, very modern. You try to do that in Sydney train system, right, and within a week, those screens would be wrecked or stolen. The place would be littered with, um, with uh, what do you call it, graffiti. Uh, and it always surprises me the fact that people think that we're backwards here or a second or third world country in Thailand. Yet this is what you get, that's the sort of thing you'll get in Australia. You never see it here. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so where are we today? Hello, how are you? Oh, you want to check me temperature? <laughs> okay, yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah. And here's my Susie. I miss you, darling. I miss you too. 
Oh, look at that. Can kiss, can kiss. <laughs> yeah. So we're going down to uh, Margarita Storm. All right, eat some um, Mexican. All right. You want to come? Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> we, love, we like to go one day. I will pay for it. <laughs> he meets everyone too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, man, music. Anyway, so we might be back here a bit later on. This is my baby. My, See you my later. Mia, my Mia Noi. <laughs> my Mia Noi. <laughs> Okay, see darling. Car, hopefully, hopefully we'll see you a bit later. We go eat the, go eat okay, food now. Okay. okay. We'll enjoy, catch you later. enjoy okay. your dinner. And we're just going to end here. It's only one more block. Looks like the street vendors are still out and about. Um, hopefully, we manage to cut up that public music so we don't get a copyright strike. Yeah, so if you ever are looking for the Margarita Storm, it is the, on the main sort of bit road here. I think it's Soy 13. Um, so we're coming up to Soy 9. Could be 11, I don't know. It could be, I don't know, 11, 13. I don't know which one it is. You can't really miss it. Yeah, okay, that's the 7 Eleven on Soy 11. Um, Soy 11 has the, um, the what do you call it, the, uh, uh, the Australia Bar, but I think the Australia Bar is closed down now and all the covered stuff managed to have a few places completely die. I think one of the one of the casualties was the Australia bar. At least Susie's is still open. And this Mercedes might want to kill me. <laughs> I think one more street. And yeah, so that's what I'm from 13. There you go. The Margarita Storm. Uh, great Mexican food. Um, so if you are in the place you know, one of you dying for Mexican, uh, they do some good tucker here. So I was actually just talking to Susie back there. Um, one of the things she did mention, the fact that uh, she does have a room there. Um, so if you do know Susie and you're looking for someone to stay over for a week or two here in Thailand, it's 500 baht a week. That's uh, anything from one to seven days. Um, look, it's not, it's not the Ritz Hotel. It's like a backpacker sort of thing. Um, but if you ever want to stay here and you know Susie or you know me, I'm sure that we can work something out for you if you want to stay in her spare room, you might just say. So um, keep that in mind. Um, so try to help out. But again, like hotel accommodation is fairly inexpensive and it's got room service and everything else. But uh, uh, as I said, if you've been to Susie's before and you know Susie and you know me and we've got a good reputation, you know, <laughs> you're a good, a good person to stay with, then uh, we're all good and, <laughs> and hey, Chris has just arrived. G'day Chris! <laughs> oh good. Good to see you. You're okay on the camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. good to see you again. Good. Um, yeah, so that was a little bit of a, a, an inside bit of information for you guys. If you, if you are looking for somebody to hang out for a couple of weeks on the way to or from somewhere, yeah, look up my girl Suri and she'll be able to talk, look after you. That's provided this, you know, somebody's not staying there, of course. And look what the cat dragged in. Good day, Jerry. How you oh, doing, buddy? <laughs> hey, look what you're talking about. Look, hey, come on, look. Whoa. Whoa. You get five for that. Awesome. <laughs> I'm down that. Under 82 kilo now. <laughs> oh, my God. What sort of mask is that? <laughs> How you, How you going, brother? How, How you, you doing? doing? Good to see you Good again. Day. How's it going, Manuel? How's that? Ah, so I think that the, the people who are going to be here are here. Let's order some food. I'm dying for some Mexican. Good idea. And so Paul did actually make it here. All good. Have a busy day at school, did you today? <laughs> and we're doing the ordering thing. So yeah, this is a, as I said, it's a Mexican, Mexican style restaurant. Pretty good. Uh, lots of good Mexican food. Pretty genuine as far as I can make out. <laughs> and it's been quite a while since I've actually had tacos. Ah, oh, yummy. Haven't had them. So. And you didn't get Mexican, you just got a hamburger? What? Mexican hamburger. Oh, it's a Mexican hamburger. What did you get, Jerry? Chicken tortilla soup. Ch chicken tortilla soup. You got a burrito? Burrito. And yours is still not coming. In theory, I got the Grande Nacho Supreme. Grande Nacho Supreme. Hopefully. It's <laughs> still waiting. <laughs> And here's a late comer to our party. G'day Vance, how you doing? Doing well. Doing well? 
Yeah, oh, well, first time back in Bangkok for two for, for two months. Uh, uh, but it's good to catch up with everybody. Well, your timing was impeccable. Well, they said sort of Niles here. Yeah, Niles here. He's the guy who's just finished a two-week quarantine. How was the quarantine? Quarantine was horrible. <laughs> horrible. Horrible. Which wasn't really good. Yeah. <laughs> Why was it horrible, though? Well, you know. You're, you're here. No I should get the camera. I should get the microphone pointing this way a bit more. Uh, well, the first seven days I didn't have a window. Yeah, no windows. Uh, <laughs> no windows. And then uh, like, I complained, I did the whole, like, look, you're in a room, I'm going to, you know, here, yeah. bitch, <laughs> for a while. So, no, no, I gave you a window after seven yeah. days. Go a window after seven days. Go a window on day eight. And uh, because I'm, like, you know, I'm Irish, so I have to apply from the embassy in Britain, mm -hmm. which all Irish people do, which means that because it's new strain of COVID, we're not allowed out of a room for the first 13 days. Oh, God. <laughs> 13 days. Prisoner. Yeah. Prisoner for 13 days. So stuck in the room for 13 days. And uh, I didn't figure out on day four that if you order anything that isn't tight, it's going to be cold. So oh, really? Burger, it's freezing cold. Then, I guess, like, you know, it's There's no microwave in there to zap it. You can rent the microwave. But oh, yeah. It's too cheap. <laughs> so, so it's absolutely disgusting. Yeah. But when you came back, Vance, you didn't have any problems, did you? No, no, no. And I was just grateful to be back. Right, you were just grateful uh, to be back, yeah. But I, I had two rooms and... I, yeah. Yeah, so I had room to walk around a little bit. Oh yeah, so you well, you paid the premium, did you? So you I, only I, paid 32,000 32, baht for yours and... One was about 80. 80,000, so the, the more you pay, the more luxury is, yeah. The more, the more you get. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and I packed uh, alcohol in my suitcase, so that wasn't a problem. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I don't worry about that. You just remember that if, you, if you're coming over, yeah, you, you've got, uh, I, I suppose, Coming into the country, you get one liter of spirits uh, and some cigarettes. I don't know if you can smoke cigarettes in the hotel, but one liter of spirits. How long does a liter of spirits last? Not long. How long does a liter of alcohol last? Well, I didn't bring a liter. I brought um, little airplane bottles. Oh, little airplane bottles. And I rationed them. I rationed them. They, they lasted until the next to the last day. Not a very heavy. There you go. Bring, bring, bring the little 50 mil bottles and ration them. <laughs> Might be extra weight for the glass, but he, he'll get through it. Okay, so it looks like we have got a bit of an unofficial boys' night out. Uh, well, the first night back in two months. Uh, well, of course, Jerry lives here. You know, he lives in well, two stations or three stations down. But yeah, so um, we did call him. We we're going to go and say, uh, give some patronage to Susie's place, buy a couple of drinks there, and then we don't really know what to gain, what happens to the night after that. But uh, as you said, things are starting to go back to normal. Got some lovely girls in the street want to share their contact details with the funds. You know, this is what happens. Uh, things are starting to crack on, starting to get back to normal. <laughs> we can only hope. We've also been saying it's probably a lot of girls around the place there that have come back to Bangkok in the last 24 hours to take care of their sick buffaloes at home. Uh, so, we really don't know what the night's going to bring, <laughs> but hopefully we'll have a pretty good time. Uh, it's just definitely one of those sort of things. I sort of miss the place. It's just, it's just chaos. We love chaos. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get back to Susie's place and then we'll catch up uh, and then we'll probably disappear and do other things. Okay, so we managed to rock back here and sail to Susie again for one or two drinks. We managed to twist Jerry's arm. He's got to go home and sort of take care of his missus. Yeah. Anyway, so we're going for a quick drink. And uh, on, well, we've got music playing, so it's all good. So they got Nick down there. He's like a regular. He's going to hide now. <laughs> uh, he wants to sit next to you. Yeah, you can sit everywhere you want. So I notice they're playing the um, Australian Open there on the TV. It's quite different without the crowd. It's almost like a practice match when you start to think about it, isn't it? Yeah, the world. It's gone crazy. And my darling Susie, she's got... What, what, this one here, the green one? Oh my god, the illusion. This is our, this is our Irish drinks. <laughs> Cup and carp. Cheers. Here's to Ireland. Uh, the Emerald, Emerald Country. Cheers to out again.
No. Scary stuff. Well, it's that time of night. We're going to actually start to make some tracks. It's good to see you again, Susie. Yeah, it's good to see you happy. You're oh, always happy. I'm always happy. You're yes, always good. happy. Anyway, I, I tell everybody about your room. Uh, and they say, oh, only 500 baht. Very it's, good room. But you've got, got to be your friend and my friend. It's okay. They can talk. Room okay. Not, it's not, not the Ritz. It's not the Ritz. <laughs> but yeah, it's okay. If you want to come here, yeah. For sure. Many functions. <laughs> Many functions. Many functions. Oh, my Many God. Many functions. Why function not? room, function room, oh my god. Yeah, so I'm trying to do video cuts of less than 10 seconds. We're going to head off and do the boys' night out thing, which we can't really take you on a little uh, video jaunt because, you know, that's what it's like. The nightlife in Thailand is the nightlife in Thailand, and it's only for those people who live here and enjoy coming here. Next station, Nile, this is first, this is his first day out back in Bangkok. <laughs> it's his choice tonight, so I love his mask, seriously. Anyway guys, we're going to sort of hit the road and uh, we'll catch up with your next video. Say goodbye to the girls, bye bye, bye bye, have a good time, okay. And we said to the, good, the girls from a magic table, boy boy, it's all good. Anyway, so we're going to um, head off and um, do our you know, like oh, late night jaunt around the entertainment spots. Uh, so it's getting a bit dark. So peace out, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.